AJ starts playing with the lasso. As soon as I break, he starts going to reverse the lahiva. So I switch my hips on Hafker to not allow him to get it deep and block him to not go to my back. Then he starts going for an underhook. So again, I switch my hip towards his leg, but this time keeping my hand on the ground to be able to keep my hips up. So I can take my leg out straight to his knee, to the knee on the belly on the side control. He turns to his back, but as soon as he recovers guard, I keep on doing the same pass. Huh. Look at those guys on the black, he's playing scooting back. These guys are, w are watching way too much YouTube. Probably those Kid Deus and Kinan videos. <laughs> and he's celebrating one thing that I love about our school is that we're open to everyone AJ has been here for about 4 months coming all the way from Guam good guy always, always good to meet new people I keep on trying uh, that flying brain bowl sometimes we will break it down on the website Watch how I pretend to go to his back, but I keep my hook behind his knee to actually land on his side control with my knee on the belly when he tries defending the back. But that's an illegal grip, buddy. Getting a penalty right there for you. And that's probably the second penalty. Man, I'm gonna disqualify you pretty soon. Oh, there's my flying berimbolo. I knew I would hit it. Look at it again. AJ did a great job by placing his foot between my legs to kick my hook off and get out. When someone does that, I normally look to get the side control. I ended up getting to the side with already the collar grip. So it was kind of easy to choke him out, finish the choke. I had just taught the foot lock on class and posted on caioterra.com, but even knowing it's coming, it is hard to stop it. If you haven't seen it yet, you should definitely go to caioterra.com. There's a bunch of series from this foot lock. He defends the back. I go to the sweep. He defends the sweep. I pretend the Kimura so I can land on top. Start doing the pass from the beginning again, but this time I keep holding the edge of his pants and his collar. So when he gets back to play guard, I can push him to one side and slide my body to the other. He ended up turning. I followed, went to knee on the belly, now mount. I remember when I was a purple belt and used to roll with black belt world champions. And tap them all out. No, just kidding. <laughs> I hope they don't watch this and make me remember the old times. <laughs> but seriously, having people that can push you is always great to have. Maybe not as much as I pushed AJ though. Having all these world class black belts when I grew up definitely helped me a lot. And there's the armbar. My pants never untie. I use double knot normally. Super hard to untie it, you know, but at least they don't come off training. Just make sure if you do double knot, you don't need to go to the bathroom in the middle of the class. It's gonna be hard. 
did a good job pushing my leg, trying to go to the half on the De La Riva. Started doing the De La Riva footlock guard again. He sits back, so I try going to the close guard. Now lays down completely to avoid that, so I try getting the mount, but he turned, so I try going to his back. Now the side control. Did a good job recovering the guard. I start passing again. But now I felt it would be hard to stabilize the side to so I watch how I play with my feet to go to the other side instead. Look it again. I place one underneath the other. Then my other leg goes there so he's not being able to keep the grip. I keep controlling his hips though because I don't want him to hip scape out. Now look how I get my leg under the other leg, almost like a leg drag. Then go to the knee on the belly. My knee is super tight now. I love this game, this gi. I know it's my sponsor, but you know, it's a new feather. If you haven't tried it out, definitely should. Good, good try by him. Getting to my side, but ended up recovering. Now it has both grips, none of them are legal. It is most timing, I wait until he switch his hips to decide to roll him over my head. I tried pushing his knee and hand away or his back. And I ended up landing the same position as he wanted to get on me. I'm not putting my hips down. Look. Because I'm not hugging his head. I keep using my feet to go to the other side or the mount. Not sure if you notice how many times I tried doing this in this rolling session. Keeps on going to the side, trying pushing my leg, so I start adjusting the Ezekiel. I cannot let him come up on top, because if he comes up on top, he'll probably defend it. Then I'm going to need to look for a triangle position. So even though you can see, my thigh is pushing him the whole time. 